PlayStation Network for most means spending hours online with your squad, throwing tantrums on FIFA, or receiving loads of free games that you can play for hours on end. The one thing that we all forget is that these networks, be it your Spotify, be it your PSN, or be it your Netflix, all contains so much of your personal data. This is your address, your payment information, and your games library. And all this is the utmost temptation for hackers. Now, let's be honest with each other. We all have one or two of those silly quote-unquote passwords that we all use for all the same accounts. If just one of those accounts gets hacked, that's it. All of your details are to the highest bidder on those underground dark web auction websites. Die, dickweeds. But we wouldn't want that, would we? In order to avoid falling victim to this, unique passwords containing capital letters, periods, and numbers are a must. This also means that if one password is compromised, then your other accounts are safe. There are also apps like Dashlane and LastPass, which allow you to store complicated, long passwords and allow you to access them through a fingerprint. It's a good idea to change your password regularly. Once those pesky hackers realize that their passwords don't work anymore, they'll be removed from the underground auction websites. Another way to defend yourself from a cyber attack is two-step verification. When you set this up, you'll get a personalized code sent to your phone via text message. It's simple. If the hacker doesn't have access to this code, then they can't get access to the account. Remember, if you get a code sent to your phone out of nowhere that you don't recognize, that likely means that you've been hacked. Go and change your password right away. Another safety option, remarkably underlooked, is to keep control of your online information. You can find and control all this information under account management in privacy settings. Under these settings, you can choose who can see your real name. Choose the option, no one. There is really no point in sharing your real name in your gaming account. I mean, the one thing that you should be able to expect from your close friends that want to play online games with you is that they can remember your real name. And if they can't, it's their loss. No one should compromise your safety. Unlink any social media accounts. Also be wary of giving away other personal info. Hackers often contact players asking for their age or birthday. Lie and say that you are 18. And if you are actually 18, say you're 57. Say you're that old granny that plays Skyrim. I don't want to pickpocket. I want to talk. Why can't I talk to you? There are so many other ways to keep your private info actually private, but these are just a few. Now go and change that bloody password. Do it now. Do it. Do it. And in case you're wondering if you got really unlucky and are already on the hackers list, here's the website that you can use to check. That's it for today's video on keeping you safe and secure online. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell to receive more notifications and great content from Noodle Shop. See you next time. I think this is, this is Veronica's version of a joke and I'm going to try and read it as perfectly as possible. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Is it? Well, it, it, this part. I mean, the one thing you should expect from your close friends is to remember your name. And if they can't, well, it's their loss. Do not compromise your safety. <laughs> that is her version of a joke and I love it.